Hello everyone! Welcome to today's session, where we explore into an essential part of your science investigatory project journey. Our topic for today is about essential guidelines and steps in preparing related studies in a science investigatory project. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand what related studies are in the context of a science investigatory project, SIP, and identify basic steps and guidelines in gathering and summarizing related studies. So, what are related studies? In a science investigatory project, related studies are the research or studies others have done similar to the experiment you're planning. These studies help us understand what has been discovered so we don't repeat the same experiments. For example, if you're studying how water affects plant growth, you will want to look at studies that have already tested how water affects plants. Now, let's talk about how we gather and summarize related studies. Here are the basic steps to follow. Identifying steps in gathering related studies. 1. Start with the topic. Choose a specific topic for your experiment. For example, you might be testing how the amount of light affects plant growth. Second, search for studies. Look for studies from books, research papers, or even online sources that are related to your topic. You can search in the library or ask your teacher for help. Three, take notes. As you read, make sure to take notes of the important ideas and findings in the studies. This helps you remember the most important information. Four, summarize. Once you have all your notes, you should summarize them. Write a few sentences about what the studies say and how they relate to your own experiment. Guidelines for summarizing related studies. One, keep it simple. Use simple language and keep your summary short. You want to explain the main points clearly. 2. Be honest. If the study didn't support your idea, don't ignore it. Mention it and explain why it might be different from your experiment. 3. Compare. Think about how the related studies can help you understand your experiment. Do they support your ideas or do you have a different approach? For grade four students, it's best to keep things simple and clear. Typically, two to three related studies are enough for your level of understanding and the scope of your science investigatory project, SIP. This allows you to focus on the key points without feeling overwhelmed. You can click the link below to download the file and see the completed example of related studies. When writing the Related Studies section of your Science Investigatory Project, SIP, citing your sources is crucial for several reasons. Credibility. It shows your research is based on reliable information. Avoiding plagiarism. It gives credit to the original authors and prevents plagiarism. Tracking information. It helps others verify and explore the studies you used. Citing sources correctly ensures academic integrity and strengthens your research. Now it's your turn, let's explore. One, with your chosen or preferred title and topic for your SIP, you can continue your write-up by looking for related studies. Two, apply what you have learned from this lesson and follow the format or template introduced by your research teacher. Three, you can download the link to see the completed example of related studies to guide you in completing your own. Four, be sure to submit your work to your teacher for review and checking once you have finished. What challenges did you face when summarizing the related studies and how did you overcome them? Why do you think it's important to cite sources when using related studies in your science investigatory project? 
How did searching for related studies help you understand your research topic better? Great job, Grade 4! You now know what related studies are and how to gather and summarize them for your science investigatory project. Remember, related studies help guide your experiment and summarizing them helps you understand what's already been done. Let's recap. Remember, related studies are important for understanding what others have researched about your topic. The basic steps to follow in gathering your related studies in your SIP are as follows. Choose a topic, search for studies, take notes, summarize, and compare. The guidelines for summarizing related studies are keep it simple, be honest, and compare the studies with your own experiment. All right, class. Now that we have learned about related studies and how important they are in your science investigatory project, it's time to evaluate what you have learned. Let's evaluate. Read each sentence. Choose the letter of the correct answer. I hope you found the evaluation helpful in reviewing what you've learned. You can submit your answers in your research notebook to your research teacher for review and feedback. Thank you for joining me in today's lesson. I hope you now have a clearer understanding of the thank you for joining me in today's lesson. I hope you now have a clearer understanding of the guidelines in finding and writing related literature. Remember, research is not just about finding answers, but also about learning from the work of others. By citing and summarizing related studies, you're connecting your ideas to a bigger picture, building on knowledge, and contributing to the world of science. Before we part, let me leave you with a thought from Albert Einstein. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. That's all for today's lesson. Keep exploring, keep learning, and stay curious. Until next time.